All right, guys, so I hear you have some questions for me, um, and I'm going to take a few minutes here to answer them all. So here we go. Do you ever sell pigs when they're a baby? Uh, no, not when they're babies. So, like, when they're born, um, they need to be with their mother for about three weeks, which would be 21 days. And then, um, when, when we wean them or take them away from their mother, um, they, they need a good three weeks at our place in a warm environment. So, we don't like transporting them until they're at least probably about two months old. Why do you need three whips? Is it for one pig? Um, we have a whole bunch of whips. Like if you go out in our barn, there's probably 10 whips laying around for multiple reasons. Um, a lot of times training them, it's, it's nice to have two whips to train them with, um, one for each hand. Um, and then also we have a whole bunch of different people that are here at the, helping out with the farm at different times. Um, and let's be honest, our kids love to have whips. So. We have five, six, seven kids at one time here and they all need their own whip. Um, so that's why we have so many different ones. How do you take care of all the pigs at once? Is there a crew? Uh, yeah, there is a crew. Um, my, my, myself, uh, my dad, and my brother Michael, uh, we all kind of do it together. Um, and you know, because we're out there a lot with the pigs, it also takes our wives as well, Mrs. Breeze to be one of them. The other Mrs. There's two other Mrs. Breeze's as well, um, and they all kind of help out uh, with different things around the farm. How many times a day do you feed and exercise? Um, okay, so for the show pigs, um, it, it, it kind of depends on how old they are. But over the last month, um, we like to um, walk them in the morning and at night um, for about. And 20 to 30 minutes each each session um, and then we also feed morning and night as well um, so we feed them and walk them I guess twice a day uh, before that that last month and a half to two months um, we, we kind of like to just have them on feed all the time uh, feed and water all the time and they can eat whatever they want and we really don't start walking them until those those last couple of months do you ever like a pig and keep it as a pet and set instead of sending it to the market <laughs> it's a good question. Um, I, I never have. Um, I know a lot of the people that we sell to, um, kids about your age, really get attached to their pigs. And one of the hardest things for them to do is uh, once they show their pig and take it to the fair, uh, one of the hardest things it is for them to do is to get is to say bye to that pig. And I, and I get that. Um, we do it all the time though, so we, we don't really ever get it. It doesn't affect us all that much because we do it so much, but a lot of the younger kids, they, they do struggle with that sometimes. You can't keep them um, just too, too long. If you want to make them a mother, um, make them so they have babies, you can do that. But um, when pigs get too old, they, they, they just get really, really big and they eat a lot of feed and they get really expensive and it's just not very a very good situation. Do you go to different places to show your pigs? Uh, yeah, so, so us personally we just we just kind of go to the Van Wert County Fair and then to Columbus and we show at the state fair there um, but our pigs they get shown all over the all over the country really um, we sell a lot to Michigan Pennsylvania Indiana um, and we even go out west as far as uh, we had some go to New Mexico this year um, they just kind of go all over depending on the year last question for today um, dear Mr. Brees, my question is, if the pigs ever get sick, what medicine do they take? Oh, awesome question. Um, just, like, just like humans, pigs get sick all the time. Um, and there's a whole bunch of different antibiotics that we can give them based on whether or not they, maybe they are coughing or maybe they have diarrhea or maybe they have a fever. Um, there's a whole bunch of different medications that we can give them um, and then the other thing that you're, you guys are probably wondering about um, You know as you might be hearing about vaccines with the coronavirus and all that we give vaccines to our pigs too There's probably three or four different vaccines that um, we, we give to pigs um, on the farm all the time, so that's something we do there, too